we're given f of x equals x squared times tangent x, and we need to determine the derivative of the function. So we need to recognize this as a product of two differentiable functions. So we'll call the first function f, so f is equal to x squared, and we'll call the second function g, so g is equal to tangent x. So to determine the derivative of f, we'll apply the product rule stated here. So f prime of x is going to be equal to the first function f, which is x squared, times the derivative of g, which is the second function, and the derivative of tangent x is going to be equal to secant squared x, plus the second function, or g, which is tangent x, times the derivative of f, which is the first function, so we'll have 2x. So this is the derivative function, so now we have to multiply and try to simplify this. So we have f prime of x is going to be equal to x squared secant squared x plus 2x tangent x. Now this is our derivative function, and it does seem like we'd be done from here, but we can try to simplify this more by performing trig substitution. So if you're allowed to leave your answer in this form, that would be great. But if you're trying to match an answer in the back of a textbook, let's see how we might be able to simplify this further, or at least put it into a different form. Let's write everything in terms of sines and cosines. So f prime of x is equal to, this would be x squared over cosine squared x, plus this would be 2x times sine x over cosine x. So if we tried to add these two fractions together, the common denominator would be cosine squared x. So let's multiply this by cosine x over cosine x and see what this does for us. So now we're going to have a common denominator of cosine squared x. And the numerator is going to be x squared plus 2x sine x cosine x. And notice our numerator does have a common factor of x. So let's go ahead and factor that out. So we'd have x plus, this would be 2 sine x cosine x. Again, all over cosine squared x. So this does seem like a lot of work. But in this form, there is a trig substitution that we could do. 2 sine x cosine x is equal to sine 2x. So we can perform a substitution by using this double angle identity for sine. So let's go back up here. f prime of x would be equal to x times x plus sine 2x all over cosine squared x. If we wanted to eliminate this fraction, we know that 1 over cosine squared x is equal to secant squared x. So we could write this as f prime of x is equal to x secant squared x times the quantity x plus sine 2x. So again, personally, I'm not sure that this form here is any better than the form we had way back over here in blue. But if you are trying to match a derivative function to an answer that you know is correct, we do want to be able to show that these two derivatives would be equivalent. I hope this was helpful.